We are now going to do a reflection on paper using a mirror. Again, a reflection is a flip and we need to be perpendicular. So here is our triangle. There is our mirror. We need to flip it across. Now we're not going to flip it from here straight over here. We need to flip it across the mirror. We need to be perpendicular. So you need a protractor. Take your pick. I like working with smaller ones on this. And you need to draw some perpendicular lines from each vertex. So line up 90 degrees on the mirror and get it to each corner. And draw a line across. I missed a little, didn't I? Well, it's that little ridge in it. All right. It's going to be just below there. All right. So there's a little ridge on my protractor here. I'll have to sand that off later. And so line the mirror up on 90. There's a line there. And slide it up till you get to the ver next vertex. And draw a line across. Get up to B. Draw a line across. Now the mirror image has to be exactly the same distance away. So now we need to measure. A to the mirror, and use metric, it's a little bit easier. You don't have to deal with tenths and sixteenths, is four, almost 4.1. So we're going to go like 4.05 and put a dot. There is the new A prime. C is how far away? C is 1.35. So we're going to go 1.35 away. Was it 1.3? Yep, 1.35. All right. 1.35. There's C prime. And then B was 2.35. Just over 2.4. 2.4. So, if I measured correctly, and that is one of our errors, a place where we could have error, is we could measure wrong. So, we're going to B to C, B prime to A prime, and C to A, C prime to A. We should have a nice little mirror image, a little butterfly kind of thing. Here's the center line. It should look exactly the same on both sides, and we are perpendicular.